everyone and welcome to episode 17 of Reputation Rescue at Lazio with me, the United City FM and those watching the series recently, we have made it through to another episode. We are still in charge but by the skin of our teeth a little bit. They're still putting messages every so often saying the next one's really important. If I don't win the game I might lose my job, all that kind of stuff. But it's been better. I'll tell you all about it in a second. We've got a new skin to have a look at today. It's called the Tang Fu skin. And it's by uh, Tassis, Tassislo, I think is Trasislo, maybe something like that. Anyway, it's a bit, yeah, Trasislo, I think. Um, but uh, they've done a decent job. It's quite, quite colourful. Some of the colours are maybe a little bit too much for me. Um, but uh, I think they stand out very nicely. If we go and have a look at the squad screen, you can see that um, there's a few more bright colours here and there. Um, they've changed the um, sort of the average rating colours a little bit. If we go and have a look at, let's go and look at SMS and see this is the overall preview preview page for a player. There's quite a lot going on. Is it too much going on? I don't know. I mean, I'd use most of it probably in terms of different uh, details to pick out about players. So I think you'd get used to it. I'd probably change the attribute colours a little bit just to make the better ones stand out slightly. But overall, I think it's fairly decent. In terms of, this is the tactics page, you can see the um, sections of the team are colour-coded in terms of their lines uh, along the pitch. So defence, defensive midfield, uh, central midfield, attacking midfield, striker, etc. They're all colour-coded, which is quite nice. Um, schedule hasn't changed too much, although these little shapes and, and colours are slightly different. Um, and I think overall it's not a bad looking skin. Tang Fu, what do you think about it? Do you prefer yesterday's or the days before, whatever? Uh, do you like this one? Do you use this one? What do you think about it, etc.? Have you got any more for me to use? Keep them coming. I've got a couple more left, but not many. So I want some more if you've got any to have a look at. So let me know in the comments below about that. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty nice. We'll, we'll see how we get on with it as we go through today's episode. Uh, the other thing to tell you about is that uh, I opened up a, a merchandise store for the United City FM brand. Uh, I've um, got a couple of items on there for you to go and have a look at, at Teespring. So it's the United City FM at Teespring, kind of. Um, you'll find it online. And the first bit of merchandise for me arrived this morning. So I just thought I'd show you this if I put my microphone down for a second. So I don't know what you could see of that, and, and apologies if it messed up my microphone in any way. But it's just a t-shirt with my logo printed on the front, and that's all. Um, and there's a few other items. Go and have a look at it. Let me know what you think. If you, if you think I could um, change anything, etc., let me know. Um, but um, yeah, I'm interested in opinion. So go and do that for me. That would be great. Other than that, this is the episode. We are in episode 17. Lazio, we are still in charge. We sit in 10th place, which is better than where we were. And things have improved a little bit. You can see that in the last few weeks through January, through the January transfer window, and we did make some changes, I think we did pretty well. We lost against Zebra, which is Juventus in this game. Um, we lost against Inter Milan in the quarterfinal of the Italian Cup. But only 3-2. It was quite a, a, a good game. We lost against uh, Zebra 3-2 as well. So we were really challenging for these bigger uh, teams. So it wasn't too bad at all. We went through on penalties against Palmer in the Italian Cup. And the rest were in Serie A, the three games there. And we won. We beat Milan. Um, and we beat Verona. And we beat uh, Entella. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. So those were the three wins in this area. So it's gone pretty well, I would say. But even so, the board are still telling me that if I don't get a good result in the next, uh, or the press are telling me, that I might get the sack if I, if I lose a game, etc. So we're still on a knife edge. But we did do some transfer business and a reasonable amount. Don't expect the likes of the big boys to come to this club at the moment. We're not in a position to do it. But we have changed some things around a little bit. So... Let's go and have a look at the outs a little bit. So we got rid of um, uh, es Escalante, who was the guy that came in last summer and I didn't really want him and it, it was done by the club and I never really used him, so we got rid of him. Bastos, we've changed from three at the back to uh, a playing a two central defenders at the back. So we needed to get rid of a, a, a central defender or two. So Bastos has gone for 2.3. Uh, Lulic has gone. He was like 34 years old. So we just needed him off the wage bill. Same with Leva really. Went for 4.6. Um, a couple of youngsters there as well have gone. So they've all gone out on loan, etc. So that was the, the stuff that we got out of the club. And we are going to be using 
the uh, similar uh, formation to the one I've got in my Derby save, which is the asymmetric. So we needed wide men, and I've um, moved uh, Lazar. Uh, Laz uh, uh, I can't even speak today. It's ridiculous. I've moved Lazari up into that uh, uh, more attacking role of that right-sided midfielder. So we needed to play, uh, find another right back to to cover him. So we've done that. We found a left and a right-sided player, which is also good. So let's go through some of these. So Gagliardini was the guy that we last uh, bought in in the summer. So we bought four guys in, one on uh, a couple on loan and a couple bought. Oh no, one bought and a few on loan. And so the first one up is Brian Gill. And this guy is going to cover the left-hand side along with the likes of Courier and Anderson playing out there a bit as well. So we'll rotate those until we find the better option. But this guy is a good youngster coming into the club. He's only 19 years old. And I think for half a season, he'll come and do a decent job for us. And we'll see about whether we want to keep him on after that. So loan with a bit of a monthly fee. There's a couple of them in there. I had to pay a little bit on the loans just to get them through the door. But yeah, he comes in. So Muru is the next one. And this is a guy that's going to play left back for us instead of Lulic, who I got rid of. Uh, and this guy is, is really quite decent. I quite like him. He's 26 years old, but he's got everything you need for a very good left-sided fullback. So I'm more than happy to bring him into the club and he has actually signed a contract with us and we bought him so this is permanently our player. I think he's a decent upgrade on Lulic down the left hand side as a fullback. So he comes in. Uh, Trincao comes in uh, again as a, a, a loan deal and he'll cover the right hand side. Doesn't play the central midfield uh, line uh, right sided play as well as I'd like but still can do it. It's fine. Um, so he'll cover that right hand side with Lazari playing most of the time but this guy again 21 years old decent young option has got some fairly good attributes for what we want him to be doing half a season can we get stuff out of him we'll find out and maybe we'll put in a bid for him if we do so he came in from Barcelona and the final player was uh, again on loan just because we couldn't quite find the quality that we wanted in the January window. In the summer transfer, we will go in uh, full bore and try and get some very good players if we can, but there wasn't quite the quality around. But this is our new right back for the second half of the season. Marisic is still at the club, so he'll play in rotation with Marisic now that Lazari's moved up into midfield. And I think, again, he's a decent option at fullback. So I think we've rebalanced the side slightly to now play in this asymmetric formation. And you can see that um, we've now got four at the back and those sort of five in midfield with the two wide players that we didn't have before and Immobile up top. Um, we've got a couple of um, issues. Radu, I tried to get rid of totally. I, I really tried, but nobody was having it. And so he's now unregistered for the second half of the season just because of squad numbers and I couldn't find a place for him. And I didn't really want to, to be honest. He's not really the quality I want. And Courier has picked up an injury for a couple of weeks. So that takes him out of the lineup. So he would have been on this left-hand side if he was fit to play. So that's a change that we've had to make. But other than that, everybody's fit and everybody's been getting game time recently, which is fairly decent. So the new guys fit into this squad um, pretty well. And um, we've got new fullbacks. Our new left-sided player, Brian Gill, plays today because of Courier's injury. The other guy, Trincao, is on the bench. So all of that means that uh, today we come up against Fiorentina in Serie A. And they sit right down in 18th. So good opportunity again for us to get some points and see if we can get on the winning track again after the Inter Milan game. Um, so it's a good chance for us today. And the team for it will be Strakosha in goal. We've got Henriks at right back. We've got Muru at left back. We've got Felipe and Acerbe in central defence. With Gagliadini, Milinkovic, Savic and Alberto in central midfield. With Lazari on the right. Brian Gill on the left and Immobile up top. And pretty much everybody else that's fit on the bench. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So we asked them to do this for the fans, which seemed to upset the new guy, which is unfortunate. But hopefully um, just that little bit of an edge on the team talk gives him a, um, something to 
fight against and actually go and perform well. This is a new kind of page layout for this particular section whilst we're waiting for highlights. So there's the statistics for the game. There's the score line and the two lineups is, is quite a good setup, I would say, for that particular page. I quite like the new... Uh, set up here for the new skin along the top here. I think that's quite swish. So yeah, I think all in all I'm quite liking this particular uh, Skin although there's one or two little tweaks I'd make. I think it looks fairly decent so far So it's so immobile on the ball gives an opportunity for us to move forward and he finds Lazari on the right hand side Can the cross come back in for immobile? Tries to get it in but the block uh, from the defender sends it out for a corner kick on the far side We have a corner and so we get the chance from Alberto to put the corner in. Can he get a decent delivery in? He can't really. It doesn't really find the, the player that we're looking for. And they get it away with no major problems, really. But we're putting on the pressure. And this is much more like what I want to see from this sort of setup from compared to what we've had in the last sort of few episodes, really. And that was a decent opportunity for Immobile off the header. Some good work down the left-hand side. Cross comes in, eventually Immobile gets that header in. Doesn't quite get it on target. But we're doing pretty well. I like it. I like the fact you can see their formation on this page. There's the action zones and the focus of attacks. League table is down the bottom left-hand corner. There's lots of good things on this page. I'm really, really liking it. Um, this could be a contender to stick around as long as it's viewing well for you. What's the viewing um, like for you in terms of being able to read everything that's on the page, etc.? Let me know. It's important that I get this right so the viewers at least can really um, get to grips with what's on the screen. So a, a decent first half, although we go in nil-nil, considering where we've been recently, it's not too bad. Let's see if we can up the ante, though, a little bit assertively. Um, let's say, let's give these fans the, the performance they're expecting again. And then we are going to go in and try and boost them passionately. We'll say, um, uh, let's see, I know what you've got. I know you've got what it takes. We're going to do that for each of these areas of the pitch and just see if we can get some passion out of them to go and get a decent result. It's worked a little bit, so that's decent. So let's go out into the second half and just check out how uh, whether we can actually break this uh, Fiorentina side down and find a way to get that important first goal and see if we can dominate the game. We're doing pretty well in terms of stats. The possession I'd like a little bit more of, but chances created is pretty good. But the game is drifting a little bit, so we are going to do something about that now. Let's um, let's think. What can we do here? I think uh, in terms of. Uh, conditioning everybody's doing okay we've got a couple of weak links I am finding these a little bit harder to read than I'd like but that's okay Lazari comes off and Trincao comes on didn't quite like the place up today we've got uh, a yellow card for our left back so we're going to take him off and protect that as well and bring Lukaku back into that role and then we've got one other in this attacking third that I'd quite like to make see if we can do something about it and we're going to take him Mobley off and put the pace of Greenwood on there and see if he can stretch the defence slightly and just see if we can find a way over the top maybe for him to run onto let's see in the last few minutes a corner kick for us Alberto gets it into the far post Greenwood with a brilliant chance from a really acute angle but didn't really get his shooting um his angles right and it they again they survive and is it just just going to be one of those days where we can't quite break them down let's go more attacking for the little uh, the last few minutes of the game and just see if we can find a way to force it uh, against them oh there's a scramble there but the goalkeeper comes away with the ball. We couldn't quite get it away from the crowd and get a shot on goal, which was disappointing. It looks like we're going to draw. We did. That's not quite good enough, is it, for a, a, a team right down in the bottom. They'll be fighting for their safety, obviously, so they're really up for it. But that is disappointing. So assertively, we are going to say that's not good enough today and just come out and see what that's done for our league position a little bit. Yeah, quite quite disappointed with that. Let's go and have a look at the table. We still sit in 10th, but you can see there's a whole stream of teams behind us that have got an extra game to play now than we have. And that could just draw us closer to them, which is a bit disappointing. Hmm. Still, we're in contention for the next two or three um, positions above ourselves, though. So it's not looking as bad as it did, I don't think. 
It's just about whether the board hold their nerve and let us play the last, the second half of the season to see if we can get performance out of this team or not, or whether they're going to pull the trigger and just um, get rid of us early. I, I hope not, but we'll have to wait and see a little bit on that one. I'm going to um, click through a continue or two just to see whether there's anything that comes in before we um, stop this particular episode just to see what the board have to say if anything because they are still saying at the beginning of matches that if you don't get a good result you could be in trouble there doesn't seem to be anything coming today though so we'll, we'll call it quits at that particular point it looks like we'll be coming back for another episode which is positive because I'm still really enjoying the save I'm, I'm really enjoying the challenge of it it's just not gone quite as well as I'd have liked Anyway, let's see what we come back to. We're, we've just played um, Fiorentina here. I think we're going to go to the beginning of March. We'll go through the Euro Cup. We're not following these on the episodes because this is all about trying to win Serie A. That feels a long way off, doesn't it, this time round. But we'll come back for the Bologna match and see whether where we're at in terms of recent form in, in Serie A and see where we can uh, potentially strengthen uh, uh, our position through good results. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm blathering away and I really don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it goes like that. Anyway, I'm going to end it there just to stop blathering. Thanks for joining me today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, so, um, it's always good to have the, uh, more people into the United City community. Go and have a look at my merch store. Um, tell me what you think about the skins that I've been using and which ones you like and which ones you don't. Um, press that like button on the episode just to help me out and get me seen by lots more people. And here, I promise, is the end of the episode. I won't blather on anymore. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>